Venice is known for its magnificent architecture, canals and gondolas, but also as a place where celebrities meet and have met for decades. Harry's Bar has an important part in this. The Venetian icon has served most of the European royalties and the golden age of Hollywood celebrities since it first opened its doors in 1931. Names like Ernst Hemingway, Humphrey Bogan and Charlie Chaplin spend time here. But there's also room for you and me, if you follow the correct dress code and have a small fortune to spend. It's a bit hard to find, with a narrow entrance and few signs. You reach it from the left corner of St. Mark's Square with the cathedral behind you. You have to pass a couple of five-star hotels and designer shops on your way before you head left towards the Grand Canal. And just before you reach the canal, you have it. It's easy to walk by without realizing that the narrow door is to the bar with an amazing history. Only colored glass in the door gives away the bar's name. Harry's Bar was named after Harry Pickering, an American who borrowed money from a young Giuseppe Cipriani, who worked at a hotel in the area. Harry returned several years later with the money, enough to partner up with Cipriani and start a bar at the first floor of an old storage building. Several years later they expanded with a restaurant upstairs. As the first in Italy, the restaurant received two Michelin stars. It's famous for inventing Carpaccio and the Bellini cocktail, both creations named after Cipriani's love of Venetian painters. The menu still has the Carpaccio, along with a wide range of both lunch and dinner dishes, a selection of salads, risotto, seafood and a great club sandwich. You can even go for hamburger or ribeye. The bar still has the original Art Deco interior. All the dishes and cutlery were designed by Cipriani. To match the 45 square meter room, all tables and chairs were originally designed small in size. The bar's decor and history is so important that in 2001 it was officially declared a national landmark. The guest today are a mix of locals, a few tourists and occasionally celebrities. The fact that it's hard to find combined with the quite steep prices is perhaps the reason that most tourists leave it alone. For more videos from Venice and the rest of the world, please visit our webpage allthegoodies.com. Subscribe to All The Goodies by pressing our logo.